Hey everyone, Finchy Al here, and we're back with another Honda ADV 150 DIY. And on today's DIY, we are going to learn how to take out the seat and tub that sits underneath. So, let's get to work because this is Finchy Al's vlog. So first things first on your Honda uh, ADV, you want to make sure that your seat uh, or your your switch on here is set to the uh, seat and fuel button. You're going to hit the seat button. Obviously, you're going to open up your seat, and then um, come right over here, and we have four 10 millimeter bolts that have to come out. All right. Now to show you guys what I'm talking about, actually no, I'm sorry. There's five, five in total. One, two, three, four, five, and then you have trim panels, uh, the little uh, peg ones. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, once you have those uh, five, and then these six trim panels, you want to remove. The little battery cover right here there's a 10 and a 10 right here and then you have a Phillips screw here and here now this is not for removing um, it is actually I'm sorry it is for removing all of this sorry all right so to start removing the actual seat here I'm going to show you guys a top view of this now you're gonna have two 10 millimeter bolts here. One, two, three 10 millimeter bolts down below. Uh, there's also one, two 10 millimeter bolts inside here where the battery covers at. So if you have your battery cover on, you're gonna take this guy off just like that. There's one, two on each side. You have one, two Phillips screws. And then right over here, on your handlebars on the back for the rear seat, for the passenger seat, you have one, two, three, four uh, 13 millimeter bolts. Now on this one, the two on the back have a little um, washer or a little spacer that will fall out. So be very careful when you unbolt this because uh, it can fall into your body panel and get hard to find. Uh, same goes for your seat. There's two little nut certs down there that will pop out. Uh, just be careful. Uh, I recommend if you do take them out or when you do get in the process of taking them out over here, put your finger, where is it? Oh, take the uh, fuse cover off. Okay. Put your finger right here and you'll feel the bolt. If you put your finger here, unbolt it. Um, and then push down in the nut insert. You can slide the nut insert out just like that. And I'll show you guys everything in, uh, there. That will remove the seat. That will get the tub ready for removal. Uh, the bars will come off and then we'll be able to pop the seat out right after that. All right, we're back. So like I was saying, let's remove the seat first. And remember, put your finger down below, make sure the fuse cover is off. Feel for the thread. And you should feel the little rivet here pop out. There you go. Leave that one in there. Seat to be unbolted. Just like that. We'll set that aside. Ah, 
second rivet. All right, so then next you're gonna take the, the three tens down below. Below on here, like the actual tens on the tub. And then you have one, two tens right here. Okay, after that, so the two tens underneath the battery tray, the three tens inside the actual wheel well. Okay. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six internal little uh, plastic uh, body rivets that just you pull out just like that. Just take all of them out, just don't lose them. So we've taken this screw, this screw out, the three here, all the little plastic uh, inserts on the, in on the inside. Next step on your disassembly process are the handlebars over here for the rear passenger. And you have one, two, three, four 13 millimeter bolts. Okay, so for removing the bar, zip, zip here. Now, one thing you gotta pay very, very close attention to is that there's a little nut cert in here that it's kind of like a little spacer. So when you pull out your handle, uh, the bar, be very slow so it doesn't fall into the actual, the abyss of your, uh, of your bike here. Cause it can just easily fall straight down. So be careful. Um, sometimes it'll get stuck on left or right. So you gotta be very careful with that guys. Don't wanna lose them. Same thing, pull that guy out. Get the little washer, the spacer. So now with that removed, now reveals the last portion of your um, uh, DIY to get the tub out. You have a little grommet here and here. So the little tiny flathead, pop that up. Okay, the tub is now pretty much completely detached from the body. Um, we're gonna put all our hardware together because this is all our tub hardware. We don't wanna mix anything else up. So there's a couple things you guys need to very uh, keep very very close attention to. Here is a little like hole that goes down, kind of like a little uh, attachment that holds that lines these uh, panels up on both left and right. So you have to be very careful on how you pop those up because they go up just like that. So on this side. Up. You'll see both of them popped out. What you want to do is kind of like, there you go. And then you pull the tub. Oh, I just can't, uh, I forgot to unmount the, the strap, the battery strap. And then the tub just comes straight out just like that. Now you have full access to your uh, engine compartment. Um, and that's it.
repeat the process in reverse if you want to take apart your pretty much to put it back in together uh, this is a good time to do any cleaning any maintenance um, you have access to your fuel injector uh, your spark plug over here on the side uh, you have access to the fuel injector line um, this is a, this is a decent amount of stuff that's right here that's actually um, accessible now because of this coming out um, any other questions please comment down below but that's it everybody that's how you remove your uh, honda adv 150 cn tub peace out and happy wrenching and have a great day guys